Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartArtsAndTrade.com. It is Wednesday, the 17th of April. This is my midweek update. It goes out there for free. If you want to join us, SmartOptionTrading.com. Link in the description below, and you can see how we've been trading this market and very successfully. So let's talk about where we're at. We'll start with a SPY five-minute chart here and just quickly talk about the action. Yesterday, we had this choppy sideways action. We were overnight. They tried to break us. We came back up. And then we've seen the same action the last four days where we hold the market for a little bit, but they pop some names up and then we sell. And we came all the way down. We put a low in a 499.12. There's about 19 minutes to go in the day. So, you know, if that's the new low comes in, just, you know, take that into account. Then we had this bounce. And I don't know what this candle was about, but they gave it right back. And I caught some of this, but, you know, and here we are coming down. And when you look at the market here, the SPY, you have a rounding top. OK, so what I mean by that, you can see here, this rounding top that's coming in around here, working its way down. We got the 3% correction. We almost got to the 5%, um, sorry, 3% pullback, 5% pullback is at 498.38. This gap here on the SPY fills at 497.37. We didn't quite fill it. So it makes sense that they want to go down and finish filling that. That would be great. Um, you know, it wasn't easy today. It's been very hard as it's pulled in and out of this gap, getting it to go into it. Many times it's head faked and pulled out and then it went. Caught me today. I took a loss on some spy puts today trying to trade it. Waited for it to go in, pulled back up, tried to you know, try to get into it when it had bounced. And then it decided to bounce more than I was willing to sit in it before it went. Just the nature of it. Uh, oscillators here, negative 249, negative 282. We've actually up on the day. So we're not as oversold uh, as we were. Breath is about flat, okay, very neutral. So not what you would expect here. And volume is not capitulation volume. We haven't had a big volume sell day in here yet. You know, there's been no big capitulation, some quick swoosh down here. I've been very, very steady type selling here as we look at this, All right? Here's your eight day. We're below it, the 21 day. So this market has to reclaim some levels to change character. The eight day would be one, the 50, the 21 day would be others. Notice the eight days crossed down. Uh, finish filling this gap. Maybe that would be it. If not, you know, there's room to keep coming down here. We'll see what the market wants to do. It's just not in a rush to move down quickly. So let's talk about what else is going on. We'll quickly start with the queues. The queues already filled this big gap it had here. That gap is gone. Done. Okay. So if it doesn't want to hold, watch the 100 day in here and the low here of this candle here at 42150 area. The IWM, which has been weaker for a while now, came down today not as bad it's actually stronger than the other indexes uh energy continues to weaken as crude is weakening you had a big down candle today on crude this is overall good for the market this means the market is not worried about israel and iran okay that's not what this is about uh the banks actually were strong today if it doesn't look at here but if you look at the individual banks goldman sachs up today green uh bank of america had a nice bounce green candle citigroup Wells Fargo has been strong. Look at that nice move. Morgan Stanley couldn't hold it, but was up earlier. So you get the idea there. Let's talk about internals. Bonds here today, an up day, but they've been very weak. The market hasn't been happy with rates. The dollar has been very strong, but it came in late today. This is good to see. We want bonds to go up, dollar to come down, oil to come down. And we have a divergence that's set up with the VIX and the markets. So the VIX here pushed to the top of the Bollinger Band and now back inside of it. This should be a risk on signal. Okay, we should be having a, a, VIX on, a, a risk on signal here on the VIX. You can see this here. Will we get it today or not? But you can see it is back in the Bollinger Bands. Typically, that means risk on. Notably, the VIX is in the Bollinger Bands and coming in while the SPY is going down. They should be going in opposite directions. So the VIX is saying this is not a big deal. Let's go to the semis. The semis got a nasty candle today. We have Taiwan semi reports tomorrow morning before the opening. And we know the report's going to be good. It's about guidance, which I expect to be good. If this keeps coming down. You got that gap at 206.39 to trade. Uh, for me, I traded the hell out of NVIDIA today earlier in the day on puts and calls. Made very nice money on that in, in and out of it like seven or eight times there. Um, here's your 50 day big spot to watch there to see if that holds and hold this upper channel here on it. AMD got punished, new break. We've talked about this head and shoulders pattern. You know, if nothing changes, the 200 days in play, if we don't get a reversal, you notice it has not been able to get above the eight day. Uh, um, you know, Micron also getting some weakness back to the 21 day. Your big tech names continue to get beaten on. Microsoft lost the low from um, Monday here, down lower underneath the 50 day. Again, risk off there. Amazon has been stronger, went below the 21 day today. So couldn't break the eight day reversed under the 21 day here 
50 day could be in play there. Meta, a little bit better today, but went below the 50 day before bouncing. These all need to reclaim the eight, the 21 day, which was sitting here above it. Apple, another one I tried along. That was one of my little, my two losses on the day. You know, this candle combination, we talked about how nasty this is. This looked like it was ready to run. Nice little W formation. It's giving it all back. It's still holding here to have some power. You know, if you want to ask me how I lost on Apple, I grabbed it somewhere in this area here for a move up. And, you know, it just couldn't hold. You know, the market reversed and it came in. But Apple was looking exceptionally strong this morning. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, not every trade is going to work. Google also sitting here on the eight day remaining very, very strong. So when you look at what's going on out there, the market here is saying some warning signs. It's saying it's unhappy, but it's not in a rush and it's not falling apart. Um, and, you know, we're looking now for some type of reversal candle to get in on. You know, in a, in a perfect world, you'd like the SPY to either gap down tomorrow or move down and get a red to green trade. You'd like to see this gap filled. You know, I don't care if you're a bull or a bear, you know, the cleanest action would be let's finish filling this gap and then let's push back up. And then just always keep an eye on how far off the eight day you are. Right now, 509 uh, to 501, we're not bad, but down here you were starting to get 10 bucks. You know, when you start getting 12 or 10 to 12, 13 bucks off the eight day, you look usually looking for some type of reversal action there. Hope this helps everybody. If you want to join us, smartoptiontrading.com, link in the description below. Have a great night. Again, let's look for some reversal candles in this market to see that this is over.